Russian soldiers surrendering rather than fighting in Ukraine. Reports have emerged in recent days that Russian troops in Ukraine, stalled in their advance and suffering numerous military setbacks, have sabotaged their own equipment, refused to fight and carry out orders, and even, in one report, run over their own commander. NATO estimates that as many as 15,000 Russian soldiers may have been killed in less than two months of fighting, or the equivalent of all of the Soviet soldiers killed in nine years in Afghanistan. Morale is reportedly incredibly low. In this situation, the conditions are ideal for the Russian military to implode. While desertion, or leaving one's fighting unit, can undermine a military physically and psychologically, defection, which Ukraine is trying to encourage Russian troops to do, or joining the enemy's forces, can offer the enemy crucial insider intelligence, which may help the Ukrainians gain the upper hand. More than 1,500 Russian tanks and their crews, along with hundreds of infantrymen have been surrendered and handed over to the Ukrainians and are now being used against Russia. This wouldn't be the first time that Russian or Soviet troops have refused to cooperate with orders in a conflict. Defection and desertion in combat is common. Eventually, wartime hardships, poor combat performance and a waning ideological commitment to the cause can spur troops to jump ship. But the Russians are already experiencing low morale and overall budget for the military increased as a result of Putin's reforms, pay for troops did not. Contract soldiers are paid 200% less than U.S. counterparts, at about, while the conscripts are paid only 25 U.S. dollars a month, and receive little training. All of this contributes to low morale and raises the risk of desertion and defection. Lack of troop cooperation only a few weeks into the conflict. In this conflict not only has Russia failed to win over the hearts and minds of the Ukrainian people, but it now appears to be struggling to win over the hearts and minds of its own military.